Hi, are we live? <laughs> here we are. Hi, everybody. This is Anne. I'm the winemaker here at Soldier Creek Winery, and today we are going to be tasting La Crescent from 2021. Welcome. We will wait, and hopefully a, a couple more people will pop on here. Uh, but in the meantime, please grab your bottle of La Crescent, and uh, please join me here for our virtual tasting. This is what La Crescent looks like. Everybody grab your bottle of La Crescent. It's got a nice gold color on our label here. Um, this is a pre-chilled bottle. We like to uh, consume this around like 50 degrees Fahrenheit, just cools it down just a little bit. Um, you're certainly welcome to enjoy it at room temperature too if you prefer, if you like ice cubes. Oh my goodness, did I just say that? Um, some people like to do that. That's fine with me. Um, I won't judge you. <laughs> All right. Here's our La Crescent. So again, welcome to our virtual wine tasting. Today, we are going to be tasting 2021 La Crescent, and we will talk about how it's made, and we'll talk about um, you know, what you compare it with. Uh, we'll talk about the grape variety, and then we'll probably just drink it. So here we are. All right. La Crescent is a uh, quintessential Iowa grape. This is absolutely one of my favorites. It grows so well in, um, in Iowa. It can handle our negative temperatures uh, all the way down to negative 40. Um, the vine itself is very vigorous. Um, it tends to be a jungle out there in this block of land. Um, we have about an acre of La Crescent on our property, and we also purchase La Crescent from, um, from Victoria in Altoona. Her vineyard is called uh, Victoria's Vineyard, and she has the cutest little Airbnb. Um, she's near Altoona. Her, her, um, uh, her climate is that much different from ours that we love to have the mix of both. Um, she has a couple of acres, so her La Crescent and my La Crescent together um, equal our uh, total Soldier Creek Winery, La Crescent. All right, here we are, beautiful golden color. Let's put this over here. Has anybody filled up their glass already? All right. Okay, La Crescent is... Um, typically known for being very, very aromatic. Um, it's one that you put it in the glass and you stick your nose in there and oh my gosh, you already get aromas, you know, it's not, it's not a muted aroma at all. Um, you're not like thinking, oh, well, I don't really know. It might smell a little bit like grapes, I don't know. Um, this is one where you can immediately say, that smells like melon and orange blossom It smells a little, um, uh, the way we make our La Crescent uh, is, I'm trying to figure out what words I want to use here. Um, we tend to um, let the grapes ripen on the vine very long. Uh, so we do a late style harvest of La Crescent. It's not a, not a late harvest, that's not what I mean. Um, I just mean we hold it on the vine a little bit longer than typical. Um, so we end up getting really bold, intense aromas um, that are more similar to Sauvignon Blanc style wine. Um, so if you like Sauvignon Blanc styles, um, La Crescent from, from Iowa is right up your alley. Um, so if you let it hold on the vine, you get those really bold, thick aromas. Um, you might get a little bit of a, of a green grassy note, which is similar of New Zealand style um, Sauvignon Blancs. Mm. Oh my gosh, I can already tell. It's, it's a little, um, it's a little like limestone-y too, <laughs> which makes sense since we, we are living here in the gypsum capital of the world. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, La Crescent is a, um, an off-dry white style that we make. This is um, definitely on the drier side. Um, it's, it's not sweet at all, but it is perfectly balanced uh, between just a little bit of acid to keep it bright and fresh and fruity. Um, and then a little bit of sweetness just to tinge down the <laughs> tinge down the um, the acid a little bit. 
Um, so on a sweetness scale, I think I would call this a, on a zero to 10, I would call this maybe a one and a half. Mm. That is delicious. Oh my gosh. The flavor profile is so intense. Um, this is definitely going to cut perfectly through a really fatty cheese. So if you like brie or, um, oh, I don't even know, camembert even, this is going to be a perfect pairing for that. Um, I also like to mention that that um, there's a good lemon profile on here. So <laughs> it would be really great with fish. If you are looking for fish tonight, oh, it's Friday. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> then, then, then please enjoy some La Crescent with fish, <laughs> any fish. <laughs> um, yeah. uh, let's see. La Crescent, we do produce a lot of. This is a varietal La Crescent, so that means that, um, you know, in our case, in their case, this is 100% La Crescent. Um, and I mentioned that it has, it's coming from two different vineyards in the state, um, but it is 100% Iowa grapes. Um, and we also use La Crescent in a couple of our other wine styles. Um, so this is a varietal called La Crescent, named after the grape, but we also have a couple of other um, wine varieties that contain the La Crescent variety. Um, so one of those would be Blanc de Blanc, which is our, our bubbly sweet wine. Um, we also have La Crescent and Goldenrod, which is our, um, our sweet white blend. Um, La Crescent is super versatile. It, it makes a great bubbly wine. It makes a great sweet wine. Obviously it makes a great dry wine um, or dryish wine. There's so many things you can do with La Crescent. Um, it's just a fantastic grape. Um, we are going through a little bit of a, a process with our La Crescent here in the vineyard. Um, we are renewing uh, about a third of the of the block for the next three years. So a, a third this year, a third next year, and a third the year after that. Um, so what that entails is cutting off the trunk and starting a new trunk from the bottom. So Tammy has been diligently working on that along with her whole crew. Um, and we are, you know, always making better to La Crescent, you know, doing what we can to keep the, uh, the longevity of the vine um, up to par. So um, it's pretty good cropper though. You know, it, it, we, can, um, we can usually harvest a couple of ton per acre um, off of the La Crescent. Uh, it's a really pretty grape. So uh, it's green in the summer and then during veraison, it'll start to turn um, it'll, it'll turn this nice yellow color that's honestly not very far off from uh, from the color of the wine here. Um, but then it gets a little bit of um, orangey color from the sun. It's just a beautiful sunsetty um, kind of a terracotta orange, beautiful color. Um, absolutely one of my favorites. This is always going to be a go-to for me. We've had it since the beginning. Um, if you have not tried our La Crescent before, um, you are welcome to come out and try it um, anytime during our open hours. We have this on our typical flight tastings. Um, we're open Fridays and Saturdays and Sundays and uh, Fridays four to eight. So after work, come on and grab a drink, have, have a glass. We also have music on Fridays. Um, so you can come and listen to free live music um tonight friday we have scott kirkhart and he will be playing from 6 to 8 p.m again it's a free show so come on out grab a glass of la crescent and uh listen to scott um and then we also um on saturdays you can come in anytime from one to six and sundays from one to five um we have lots of fun events going on throughout throughout the weekend and sometimes during the week um tomorrow even we have our may our spring um, what's it called? Spring Winding Vine Market. It's our maker's market. It's our spring version of our maker's market. So we have some really great um, craft uh, homemade products that I would love if you could come out and see. They're just, um, we have fantastic local artists around. So please come out and try that. Uh, come take a peek during that. That will be tomorrow from 2 to 6 p.m. Um, so come support your local art artists. Um, also, we have 
you know, bingo, usually every other Sunday. Um, so not this Sunday, but I think it's the Sunday after that. Um, so if you like Sunday, if you like some easy, but easy fun where you don't have to think very much. <laughs> I love that about bingo. Um, we have uh, our bingo hosts just are making jokes and um, having fun trivia on the side. And it's just a hoot. It's a good time. Um, and we are laughing pretty much the whole time. Um, so yeah, enjoy some across it while you are doing that. <sighs> and then please check out our website because we have lots of other fun events. Uh, this is actually um, Iowa Wine Month. May is Iowa Wine Month. Um, so we will be doing virtual tastings throughout the month here. Uh, we also have St. Pepin coming up and a Petite Pearl. And please check our Facebook page for the dates and times on those uh, because I don't have those right in front of me. Uh, yeah. So if you are hoping to join me next time, I would love that. If anybody's out there and they have questions, please ask away. Uh, I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say about this um, and any questions that you might have on how we make our wine or uh, what makes the La Crescent so delicious. Um, let's see. Uh, this is, oh, this is a $19 bottle of wine online or in store. We also have it available for, um, at some of our retailers. So you can check around to your local retailers and see if they have it. If they don't have it, um, make sure that they start to carry it soon. Um, what else, Megan? <laughs> Cheers. Thank you all for joining me and I will see you next time. <laughs>